Good morning, mighty men and women of God. I just want to encourage you with today's prayer challenge. I want to read you the words of Jesus from Matthew 6, 9. He said, pray therefore like this, our Father who is in heaven, hallowed be your name. That means Jesus said, start out your prayer by remembering who it is you're praying to. Number one, he's our Father. And Jesus told us in the Gospels that fathers like to give good gifts to their children who ask. So your father wants to give you good gifts today. And number two, he's our father who is in heaven. That means he's not limited by earthly norms. This God, this father that we're praying to, he is the God who made the heavens and the earth. Jeremiah said in Jeremiah 32, 17, Oh Lord God, you have made the heavens and the earth by your great power and outstretched arm. There is nothing too difficult for you. So today, realize you're praying to the God for whom nothing is too difficult. There's nothing too big and nothing too small for your Father who art in heaven. You know that phrase, you are God who made heaven and earth? There were other people in the Bible who prayed that phrase. David said it over and over and over again in the Psalms. You remember David, the one who stood toe to toe with the giant <laughs> and took his head off? That David. Yeah, he said, you are the God who made heaven and earth and he is on our side. Hezekiah prayed, you are the God who made heaven and, heaven and earth when the Assyrians were threatening war against the Israelites and there were a lot more of them than there were the Israelites. He prayed and he went to God that way. And then Peter and John prayed that way with the disciples after they'd been threatened not to preach anymore in this name and that they would be beaten and all these things. And they went back to their company and it says that they prayed that same thing. The nations rage against you, but you sit in the heavens and laugh. You are the God who made heaven and earth and put out your outstretched arm and make us bold to deliver your word by healing. And that's what we're believing for today. We're believing for all kinds of works of God. Wherever you go, realize that that's where the ministry is. Have a great day, mighty men and women of God.